This is the video answer for exercise one of project Orion. So in this exercise, we're going to configure Live Update Administrator, which is installed on WS LUA. The first task is to log in and look at the first stage of selecting products to download. So if you uh, open, there's an icon here on the desktop for Live Update Administrator. Then you type student. The password is pre-saved already. So you just have to click log on and you have access to uh, Live Update Administrator. So we're going first on configure and we need to request an update of the catalog. Okay, so just clicking here. So like this, we're sure we can retrieve content to a Live Update server um, based on the latest and greatest version of all the products that are available. So once the catalog is updated, uh, you can go directly, still on the same section for configuration, select which product you want to download from the internet. Okay, so we're going here to select add new product. And you can see that it's, uh, this um, utility is actually spanning multiple Symantec products. It's not only SAP. Most of Symantec software have actually some content we could retrieve using Live Update Administrator. So here we just focus on endpoint protection. So we select this, then we can scroll down. And we can see on Symantec Endpoint Protection, we have actually the list of multiple builds and updates. So what we want to do here is just Symantec Endpoint Protection 14.0 in English. Okay, that's what we're interested in. Once we have this, we just go all the way down and click OK. So that already start to narrow down out of all the possible updates we narrow down that we want only SEP 14.0. Okay, so once this is done, now we can go to download and distribute to actually configure the download between internet and the live update administrator server, or the internal server. Um, so we, we will configure what we want as an update. Okay, so we go add download. Here we name that download SEP14 content. Okay, so you can put some des description here. That's what we use because Solicel wants to use Live Update Administrator for roaming users. So that's what we're adding. And then on the select product, that's where we can choose which uh, product we need. So if you select here, you will be downloading a very large amount of data and not everything might be useful. So you need to actually expand. And you see you have client update and content update. So client update will be software patch and updates. And content update is the various definition, or IPS definitions. And inside of that, you can see there's actually two categories. There's a category that's called clients and a category that's called manager. Depending whether you have a SEP client an endpoint connecting to Live Update Server, so that would be the client section, or it would be the manager, so the CEPM, that's downloading the content and in turn transform those definitions and distribute them directly or via group update provider. So that's why you can see both, okay? And do not select both if you're gonna have just client pointing directly to the server, uh, to the Live Update Server. Um, the other part here we just take some space on your hard disk use some bandwidth and not be useful okay so for our exercise here we need to select everything on the client that is for windows okay you can see definitions for mac so we're gonna skip those and here you can see you have two kinds of uh, various definitions so there is an error definition which are reduced that's actually the one we want to use here and the other one are for what we call dark network clients. Okay, so here we're just skipping those and just make our uh, pick and choose in terms of uh, option we need. Once this is done, we can click add and then we have to set a schedule. So here for this demo environment, we're just going to set it to monthly just to have it to run once. And you're gonna put it in a date that's far away so that it's not triggering while you're taking the class. In my example here, I'm just putting monthly on the 31st. We are early in, in the month when I record this. Uh, so just to be sure that it's not triggering, okay? We just need to make the configuration. We're not re uh, requiring the bandwidth and the download of everything because it generates quite a large amount of data 
across the network okay so be sure that the date here will not actually trigger an update within the the time you're still taking the course and now we have a retrieval that's configured um, the next place uh, to look at is to configure the distribution center schedule so now that we have the content that made it all the way from the internet to the live update server we need to make available for the endpoints to retrieve because you have the ability of using live update administrator for validating content for example uh, or you need to control when exactly it is available on the network so that uh, you control when your uh, your one link or your, your your connectivity is used for content update so that's why you have actually a separate schedule for distribution so now we're going here distribution centers so that's the where we're going to post information and we'll be using the default uh, production distribution center so you can see the uh, url is here clu-prod so that's the, that's actually what we will use in the live update the settings policy in the cpm to say my client are retrieving content from this server and that's the one url you're using so now we want to distribute content we still have to define what we want to distribute same thing as we've done when we've done the download part from the internet here we need to go back here and edit and go again add a product expand select content update and go back again to select only what's interesting for us okay so going back and selecting again all what is for windows and a reduced set of definitions here and that's all okay so we skip mac we skip the full size definition here and once this is done we click ok so that's our configuration done so we we know what we want to download then we when we scroll down here we just can click ok and we know that uh, as soon as the download happens from the internet we can go and use this here as a, a place to retrieve content from the next part is to choose when that content is being distributed to the uh, distribution center so we're going back to download and distribute and this time we're going add distribution so here we just put sub content client to production we're going again to select which kind of product we want to distribute okay so going back here under content update and again selecting all the windows content skipping the mac update skipping the full size definition and click add okay so what we've done here is that we've defined which content distributed and when so that's the, the one little difference between the step we've done before and this time the one before we're taking content from our central download repository to move it to the production one and here we are confirming this by choosing when this happens okay so that's why you have again the same configuration with the, the product and now you have actually after download schedule so let's say we have a, a download that happened automatically from the internet we can automatically publish so that would be how, how you would configure this so now that everything is configured uh, we just need to wait for scheduling to happen so that first we have a download and then we have a distribution happening so as you can see the configuration requires quite a lot of um, preparation and selection and if you have actually an update of a, uh, a product let's say a maintenance uh, release update or a patch or something like this happening you might have to go back and revise your configuration because content might have changed between versions so be really sure that when you use live update administrator that you can actually follow closely the configuration and make sure that content is being distributed accordingly and that uh, it is really a requirement you have in your environment to control when and what gets downloaded if you can go without and just download directly live update from cpm and then cpm distributing content it would actually simplify administration you have to really consider whether or not you need to use a live update administrator so with that that concludes exercise one of project orion